Moseley's law. According to Moseley, the characteristic frequency emitted by an element in each K, L, M and N series is found to depend on its atomic number according to the equation nu equals A times Z minus V parentheses squared, where A and B are constants for a particular series, their values are different for different series. B is called the nuclear screening constant, and Z minus B is the effective mass number of the uh, element. For K spectrum, B is equal to 1. A is related to the Rydberg constant, replacing Z, the atomic number, with Z minus B in Bohr atom model, show that the constant A in Moseley expression is given by a equals e square over 2 epsilon 0, square root of m divided by 2 h cube, uh, multiplied by 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square, where e is the electron charge, epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space, m is the electron mass, h is the Planck constant, n1 and n2 are principal quantum numbers. Okay, so in Bohr atom model, we have... Uh, the electron orbiting around the nucleus in a uniform circular motion and in this case the, the net positive charge in the nucleus will be uh, plus Z minus B times E where E is the electron charge. So we have uh, the electron orbiting around this charge uh, Z minus B times E in a circle with radius R with tangential velocity V. Now uh, the, the force between these two uh, charges is basically the Coulomb force. So there is this force that is attracting this electron uh, towards the uh, nucleus. That's the electrostatic force. And that force is equal to uh, Coulomb's constant uh, K multiplied by the charge Z minus B times E times E divided by the distance squared, R squared. So this will be equal to, because this is the centripetal force responsible for uniform circular motion, M V squared over R, where M is the electron charge. And on the other hand, we have, according to Bohr's postulate, the uh, angular momentum, MVR, or R cross with MV, is equal to N H bar, where H bar is the reduced Planck's constant, H divided by 2 pi. And N is an integer. So this is uh, basically quantization of orbital angular momentum in Bohr model. That's one of Bohr's postulates. Okay, so therefore, for the radius, uh, we can substitute an h bar over mv, or for velocity, we have uh, n h bar over m times r. Okay, so I'm going to substitute for the velocity n h bar over m times r first. So we're going to have uh, k z minus b e square uh, equal to because we have one of the R's cancelling here, and V square R, uh, where we can substitute uh, for V an H bar over MR, so we're going to have M times N square h bar square over m square r square times r. 
So what we see is that the one of the masses will disappear and one of the R's will disappear as well. And we will be left with an R value. R is equal to um, N square H bar square divided by M K Coulomb's constant Z minus B E square. So here N is an integer. K is Coulomb constant, which is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 permittivity of free space. So therefore, we find for the velocity V an h bar over m r. So it's going to be an h bar over m multiplied with 1 over r, which is uh, m k z minus b e square divided by n square h bar square and we're going to have n h bar getting rid of one of the n h bars here and the mass will disappear as well therefore we have uh, b is equal to k z minus b e square divided by n h bar so here k is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 and for h bar i'm going to substitute h divided by 2 pi so that will give me Uh, v is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z minus b e square divided by n and 2 pi divided by h so i see that this 2 pi will make this 4 pi 2 and therefore my tangential velocity is z minus b e squared divided by 2 n h epsilon 0. Now if I write the total energy of this electron there is the uh, rotational kinetic energy and there is the potential energy and this is basically one half mv squared the kinetic energy and the potential energy is minus ke square z minus b over r so you can see that um, since k z e z minus b e square over r square was mv square over uh, r that's basically equal to mv square. So this is 1 over 2 mv square minus mv square, which is minus 1 over 2 mv square. That's the total energy. So for total energy, I can write minus 1 over 2 m. Uh, for b, I substitute z minus b e square over 2 nh epsilon 0 so I take it square z minus b square e to the power 4 divided by 4 n square h square epsilon 0 square so if I have a transition uh, of this electron between two quantum states from n to to n1 state the difference in the energy will be seen in the spectrum that's the difference between n2 level and n1 level and this is going to give me the discrete 
Bohr spectrum and that is equal to m z minus b squared e to the 4 power 8 h square epsilon 0 square and because of the minus sign we will have instead of 1 over n2 square minus 1 over n1 square 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square and uh, this is a transition between two energy levels e n2 to e n1 so if the electron makes a transition from this level to this level we're going to have a photon emitted uh, the energy of the photon will be equal to h nu and it will be equal to the difference between these energy levels so that will be energy of the emitted photon so we can see that uh, for the frequency of the emitted photon, I have to divide this by Planck's constant h. So I'm going to have m e to the fourth power uh, z minus b square divided by 8 h cube epsilon 0 square 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square. Now according to Moseley's expression this frequency is a square z minus b parentheses square so if this is a square z minus b square so I see that the z minus b squares will cancel this is Moseley expression and therefore we find that this constant a should be given as a is equal to e square divided by 2 epsilon 0 square root m divided by 2 h cube 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square So this is our final answer and let's compare this with the suggested expression e square over 2 epsilon 0 square root of m over 2 h cube 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square so this is the expected result okay so we used Moseley's model for transition between uh, different energy levels the frequency of the emitted photon is related to the atomic number z with a square z minus b parentheses square where b is the nuclear screening constant a is related to Rydberg constant so we replace the uh, z atomic number with the effective atomic number z minus b taking into account nuclear screening constant and we use Moseley's expression to find the value of a in this expression uh, first we have the electrostatic force between the positive charge z minus b times e in the nucleus and the electron that's orbiting around it in uniform circular motion the electrostatic force is k q1 q2 over r square which is k z minus b e times e so it's e square over r square and this centripetal force is responsible for the centripetal ex acceleration v square over r so we have f equals ma and v square over r at the same time, according to Bohr's postulate, the orbital angular momentum is quantized in units of h bar. So mvr is equal to nh bar. So we substitute for r nh bar over mv, uh, and then uh, we can find v from nh bar over mr. And doing so, we find that the velocity is. Uh, z minus b e square over 2 nh epsilon 0 when we substitute for k 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 and h bar h over 2 pi then we realize that the total energy of this electron is minus 1 over 2 mv square 
there is the kinetic term, which is rotational kinetic energy, 1 half mv square, and there is the potential energy, minus kz, ke square z minus b over r. So that gives us minus 1 over 2 mv square. So we substitute for v the expression we have found, and we look at the transition from n2 state to n1 state. The energy difference is a minus 1 over uh, 2 uh, mv square in state n2 minus plus 1 over 2 mv square in state n1. Uh, because of the minus sign, instead of getting 1 over n2 minus 1 over n1 square, we get 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square. And this energy difference must be equal to the energy of the emitted photon h nu. And uh, when we substitute uh, h nu for this energy difference, we find the frequency of the emitted photon to be m e to the fourth power z minus b square over 8 h cube epsilon 0 square parentheses 1 over m1 square minus 1 over m2 square. And this, according to Mosley expression, is equal to a square z minus p parentheses square. So z minus b parentheses square cancels, uh, and we find a must be equal to, uh, by taking the square root, e square over 2 epsilon 0, m over 2 h cube, uh, 1 over n1 square minus 1 over n2 square parentheses, uh, the square root.